Hi, it's Mary. Welcome back to the Paper Turtle. Um, I am here continuing my work on this baby journal. And um, if you saw the last craft along video, we worked on, this was the last thing that we did. I need to make something to go in here, but before I do that, I'm going to make a side pocket on this page. I looked through my paper and I've pulled out a few a few other pieces of paper that I can use throughout the book, I think. Um, but I found this one to put here. And I'm going to put this as a, in a tuck spot. I'm not sure if I'll decorate it. Maybe I will a little bit, and it'll go inside the um, the side pocket. And I think that'll all look nice together like that. So this is an old piece of scrapbook paper. I do not know who made it, but it's very pretty. Um, I've had it in my stash for years and have never used it. I think, I think I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. I was intimidated by what was already on it. It is double sided. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm, done saving things and hoarding things and waiting for that right moment today's the day i'm using this paper and that's that's it i actually had two of these so i have another one if i really need it um so it needs to be seven and just a little under seven and three quarters and i think i want it Maybe two and a half inches. Seven and three quarters by two and a half. We have, I have a visitor in my room right now, uh, Miss Heidi. She is um, sitting in the window and she's watching the birds and she's <laughs> flicking her tail and I think she's kind of snoring a little bit, but she's awake. <laughs> I don't know if she's got a stuffy nose or <laughs> what the problem is, but she's she sounds like she's snoring. <laughs> she's a cutie, though. All right, I'm going to do just under seven and three quarters. Oh, this this uh, cutter is it's big, and I had to lift it around my, my camera's like right right here <laughs> and I'm just gonna put a little notch in it and I think I'm gonna ink it too so I hope that you are crafting along with me I hope you've got something to work on or maybe you're not maybe you're just kind of chilling and got me on in the background and uh, like I said in the other video Sometimes I'll watch a crafting video and I'll be playing words with friends at the same time. And um, it's good. Not, not so much that it melts into the background because I'm listening. But sometimes you don't have to watch every, like, I'm, I'm inking. <laughs> Some people don't really need to watch me ink some like watching people ink I don't know but it's those terms that's when I'm taking my turn on words of friends you know what I mean so I hope you're doing your thing and um, I hope the time goes by in a productive way for you somehow or another I'm I'm finding lately I'm actually getting a little bit more done when I'm filming you know why because I'm using my phone to film when I'm not filming my phone is sitting here beside me and I'll craft for a minute pick up my phone and check Facebook or pick up my phone and play words with friends or whatever so I'm always um, getting distracted if I'm not filming but if I'm filming I can't do that so I'm actually working so I think that's one reason why I'm, I am filming is so that I can actually get things done on this book. This is one I said in the previous video that I'm doing for a gift. So I do have a, 
a deadline on it. I'd like to get it done. And um, I can't mess around. I can't take my time with this one. I mean, I'm not like rushing so that it's a bad job or anything. But I can't play around. I gotta get it done. Okay, and I think that I would like, let's see, so this is going to go in here. I don't want to pull it up too much because I just glued it. So that's going to go there. Maybe if I put something up here, you know, an image or something. Um, should I stamp? No, I don't want to stamp on that. It's too dark. So where's my books? That's good. Everything ends up piled up over there. And I have to, every time I go to find something, I have to dig through a mountain of stuff. I forgot to check the time. I don't want to go over an hour or so. Okay, 11.25. So let's see what we've got here. I think I want a smaller image though. You know, when I really, when it really comes down to it, there's not that many images in here. I could do that one. That's cute. I mean, there's a lot of images in here, but they are, um, they're all the same. You know, I have, we have the little golden book, images, this book, and this book, and they're all the tale of Peter Rabbit, so the images are all the same pictures. Now, I do have a couple of other Beatrix Potter books that I could cut from. Um, actually, I have a third tale of Peter Rabbit. Or, no, fourth. <laughs> I have this one also. which has the same images in it. So if I need one, I can go to that. But I have these two of the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck, Mr. Jeremy Fisher, and the tale of Benjamin Bunny. And I can cut from all of these. Oh, I'm not putting that in there. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, poor Peter. Or no, that's Benjamin, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, some of these aren't happy pictures. <laughs> that one's cute. So I can pull from there, and I mean, I can pull from, they don't have to be just Peter Rabbit pictures, I suppose. Let me see what we've got in here. Maybe I can find something, a fun picture in here. There's a turtle. i got to put a turtle in somewhere. Um, hmm frogs I guess who is this oh Jeremy Fisher he's a frog okay so there's probably not gonna be much other than frogs there's a beetle <laughs> not cute baby pictures really hmm yeah that one's not gonna work I didn't like any of those Jemima puddle up there should be something let's see there's a fox. I don't know this story. I've never read it. I guess I should read this one. She's cute, but not like baby boy cute, you know? Hmm. I'm not sure about this one either. That's probably why I was sticking with Peter Rabbit. And how about Squirrel Nutkin? There's got to be a cute one in here. Let's see. Well, that's kind of cute. Huh. These pictures aren't as cute. Why aren't they cute? Huh. All right, well, we're sticking with Peter Rabbit then. I have 
another one here. I have this one. Maybe there's something different in here. There's there's Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Well, oh, this kitty one. She's kind of cute. There's these black and white pictures in here. The drawings. Hmm. Not crazy about some of these either. I like the little mouse. This one's cute. I could put that in there somewhere. There's a few cute mouse ones. Too bad mice. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then the squirrel one again. Well, I'll just go with what I have for right now. I'm going to do this one here. And my other scissors are in the other room because I was, I was cutting. This is actually like two days after the last video. I was... I was going to, when I stopped that video, I was going to just continue it, but um, I got up to do something, and I got distracted, so I never did come back, and then yesterday, we uh, went thrifting, so I didn't get in here to work yesterday, so today, I decided I needed to that look all right? Yeah, that looks fine. All right. Today I decided I needed to stay home and, and get some work done. So that's what I'm doing. And I think Heidi has left the room. So I might get up and go close the door. My husband is going off for his walk, so he won't be here, but when he comes home, he might get a little noisy. I don't know. <laughs> He's blowing his nose. Okay, well, <laughs> sometimes you get those background noises. All right, I have to warm myself up here because I'm not, uh, I'm just, just like, not early in the morning. I don't do anything early in the morning except sleep, but um, it's my first activity of the morning. I did do my morning stretching and stuff, but um, I don't think I'm quite awake enough to be doing this video, <laughs> but I'll get there. I'll warm up as we go along. Okay, so that's that. Now, I probably should do something on here. But I'm going to wait because I'm going to go back through and decorate all the um, elements that go in it. And I do have to make something to go in here. So I'm going to make some kind of a journaling card. And let me see what I've got to make that with. I'm not going to get real fancy as far as um using like guest checks and I don't know I don't know some of the the odd different things that we use in junk journals because I don't think they'll they'll get it so I'm trying to just um use very simple plain straightforward this is what this is kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Well, that's a whole different project under there. I think I'm going to just get a manila folder and make a card. Uh, I'll need to cover it with something. 
All right, I'll be I'll be back in one second. Just look at this book for a second. I'm not going far. I'm just getting a piece of manila folder. Mm, I don't know if that's big enough. This should work. And I'm going to cut this to size. It's going to need to be about, let's do five by seven. I think this is going to be five. I'm going to cover that up anyway, so I think that'll be fine. Okay, so we have our five by seven. Um, and I'm going to cover this side with something. Oh, what have I got? What about? That's four and a half. I'm wondering, let me try cutting it and see how that'll come out. It wouldn't be quite a seven unless I go up a little bit more. Let me try it there. There's five that I was here. That might actually work. Let me see how that will look. It's like just, but I can trim it, you know, I can put that on there and then I can trim it up. I think I'm going to do that. Let's make good use of that paper. So I was saying in the last video a couple days ago that um, I that the weather was really nice and we had gotten outside and I was saying how it was what, like in the 70s, I think. Well, today <laughs> it's back down to the 50s, which is okay. Yeah, and I know for those of you in the north, 50s is quite warm and nice and you would love it to be in the 50s and and it's nice it, it's not bad um but it's not our 70s florida winter <laughs> so it 
it can fluctuate from day to day like that. There, I think that that will look really nice. And I think I'm gonna just trim that off just because, um, I don't know. I don't think it's that noticeable, but I see it. So I'm going to trim it. Nice thing about this trimmer, you can get right down to a sliver. And it cuts that sliver off very nicely, except when I'm talking about it. <laughs> Why does that happen? Why do things malfunction when you're you're talking about them and singing their praises and then all of a sudden they don't do what you're saying they're going to do. Looks like I have a little bit at the top there to trim too. There, that worked very nicely. See how thin that is? A very nice thin cut when you need it. Okay, I like it. I like it. And then I can put a picture on it or something. I'm definitely going to run out of um, Beatrix Potter pictures. So I'm going to have to come up with some other pictures that will go. Maybe I'll put a butterfly on this one. Um, where are my butterflies now? I just had them out. Let's see if I have one that'll go. I was fussy cutting the other night, and I've cut a few that. Oh, that one's really pretty. I like that one. should have done blue it's all right it still looks good okay I'm gonna do that one and I'm going to do a fabric tab <clears throat> at the top here's my fabric pieces I'm digging from if I don't find anything in here I have more in the other room, but trying to use up some of these. I'm going to use that, I think. It's 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 got flowers on it, but I think that uh, that's okay in a baby book to have a few flowers. What's this? No, that's not quite the right color. There's that. Let me see it on the page. I have a lot to go in this book. I have a lot of decorating to do. All right, so it's going in here. So the blue. Oh, yellow, definitely yellow. Okay. Sometimes you just have to put it in its spot for it to speak to you. Do your craft supplies speak to you? They speak to me all the time. It's kind of scary. So this fabric is just um, from 
like bags of fabric scraps that I find at thrift stores and estate sales. I have a lot of them. And they're just little pieces like, you know, left over from somebody's quilting project or something. And they work perfectly for this type of thing. Perfectly. Before I do that, <clears throat> I'm going to do the back. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a little something on the back, too. Just to kind of give the, the clue that, hey, do something on the back. Do you know what I mean? Like, use, you can use the front and the back. So I have the butterfly there. It's going to flip over. And I think I'll put something just down here. Um... Maybe another butterfly. I just had them. Where are they? <laughs> oh, if you could see the other side of my desk. <laughs> I don't know how I'm working in this in this disaster. Oh, look at how about this? That's cute. Eh, I don't know if it's good for this particular one, but I might put it on somewhere. A little too girly, I think. I get hung up on the girl boy thing. And I shouldn't. Because it's a baby book, so it doesn't matter. It's not like really pretty, but I'm, I, I think also I'm trying to keep in, th in mind the theme of that this is a Peter Rabbit book. I'm thinking yellow. Do I have something yellow? Hmm. Well, that's pretty. Doesn't go with the book again. See, I'm yeah, I'm kind of hung up on that. I think. Ooh. Is it too big though? Is it taking up too much space? If they want to put a picture there, there's not much room. I really like these little bugs. What about him? I don't know. I just don't know. There's a little one. He would fit more here. Hmm. That's pretty. That goes more with the front colors. I think I'll use that one. And I think I need to go into another um butterfly book and do some cutting not that i'm gonna fill it with butterflies but i just got a book um where did i put it oh i think i already put it away the other day i picked up another like nature type book but it was um like italian so it had like really different birds and butterflies and stuff in it and I think it has a section with, um, like, bugs. But they're, the pictures were really, really pretty. I'll have to dig that out and see if there's something in there that I can use in here. I'm try to save these little antennas. They kind of make the, make the little butterfly there. Yeah, he's cute. I'm going to put him on there. Just very lightly inking to get the white off. Yeah, 
And what I'm thinking, what I'm trying to keep in mind as I as I decorate this book is um, journaling and pictures, journaling and pictures and um, keepsakes. Um, you know, just, I don't know. Whatever you keep from, from when you, you know, your baby is little, all those little things. So I want this to be a place where they can keep all that. So there's pockets and there's going to be envelopes and, um, journaling space and picture space. And that's what I'm trying to keep in mind as I go through here and to keep it interesting and fun. Well, that didn't actually line up, did it? Well, that's odd. Something's something's out of, not in the middle. I think it's this. I want it to be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move it. I know that's a picky little thing, but um, I want that to to stick out of the um, the notch. So, I am going to move it over. I think that's going to be better. I know, that's, that was probably petty, but... I think sometimes those little details make a difference. That's better. Yep. Okay. When I'm when I make my journals, I love to have things sticking out the top, sticking out the bottom. These will have something on them. They may not they may not stick out the bottom when I'm done. Um they'll probably end up in the page with little somethings on them. But sometimes I make these into little hanging tassels. Um but I'll put trim that'll hang on the bottom. You can see a little bit right there. And I like things to stick out the sides. I just think it makes it interesting and fun and tactile. I like it to be tactile. I want them to touch it and play with it and see what's in there type of stuff. Okay, so that one is done. Except for whatever I'm going to do with this. But I'll go back through and do that. Okay, and so we have another white page. Oh, gosh, I hate white pages. Um... I already have, I already made a flip out, a pocket. I think maybe I'll put an envelope on here. Just, just a regular old envelope. Oh, you know what I have? I don't think I have the right color, but I can make one. What I have, I found in, in, I don't know, I was cleaning out something the other day. I found all this stuff. I think these were pre-made things that I bought in a package from somewhere. But there's this, okay? It's an envelope with a fold down like that. So I'm thinking this one obviously isn't going to fit there, but I could make one that could go there. Maybe I'll do that. All right, I'm going to have to find an envelope. Now, I have a whole bucket full of envelopes over there. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to measure see how big I need the envelope. That is about five and three quarters. So I wanted about five and a half, probably. And, um, I will find the envelope and then I'll be right back. Okay. Well, that was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I have a ton of envelopes. I, what I've done is I've separated, um, stationary note cards and, and things like that. I separated the envelopes out from them and I have the envelopes all in a separate bin. Um, 
so when I want an envelope, I can just go to my envelope bin and pick an envelope. Well, seems I'm a little bit short on smaller size envelopes. <laughs> They're all at least like six inches long. Now, I can make my own envelopes. I know I can do that. I can do it out of any kind of paper I want, any size I want. I can do that myself. But I have all these envelopes. So I want to use those first before I make my own because otherwise those won't ever get used up. So what I found that will fit the page is this one. It's got this green inside, but it's white. So it means that I would have to, I would want to decorate it somehow. So I'm not sure about that one. This one is blue. It's like a denim blue. In fact, I think it was made, this paper is made from like recycled jeans or something. It was a stationary kit that I picked up. And it's got this darker blue on the inside and it's, it's kind of pretty. It's not bad. Or I have this deeper blue. Um, hmm. It's next to a green page, which I don't know if that matters a whole lot. But when you open this up, it'll go nicely, look nicely with the green page. Um, but again, I feel as though I would need to decorate it. Or, this is going to end up... Let me look at my little prototype here. It will end up sitting on the page like this, but this will be over it. So whatever paper I use to fold down, it's gonna be sitting on top of it. I have to keep that in mind. Uh, but when you open up the envelope, you, it'll, you'll see this. So I want that to match. This is going to be a little trickier than I thought. <laughs> but let me see what I can do here. Um, what do I have for paper? I have this. That is kind of cute. We go with that. And it goes with this. All right. How was this done again? It's going to have to be glued onto the back of the envelope. This way. And then fold it up like that. Is this paper the full 12 inches? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to have to go this way. All right, let me, let me see if I can do this. Territory unknown here. <laughs> All right, so it needs to be... If you've done something like this before, let me know in the comments any tips or tricks to getting this to look a little bit better than whatever I'm going to end up doing. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be glued right there. It's not its not a difficult um, element. It, it's really not that hard. It's just... <clears throat> The first time you do something, you know, you're a little uncertain and you want to make sure that you you do everything right. Even though there's no right or wrong way to do things, there are, there is because if you don't 
you know, if I put it on the wrong side or something, that's not going to work the way I want it to work. So that would not be right. <laughs> so you want to make sure, I want to make sure that I do everything the right way. So I'm not wasting anything. Now, I suppose this would not have to go all the way, cover the entire back of the envelope. I guess I could have made the paper just attach it like part way on the back of the envelope. I could have done that. Um, that might have been a little smarter. All right. And then I know that I want this part to fold. There's my bone folder. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there for it to fold. Let me see. That's about three and three quarters. Yeah, that's going to fold up higher than that, but that's okay, I think. Three, one to four. Well, that should be about right. Yeah, that should about work just about right, I think. We shall see. Okay, that's the concept. So it'll be in the book like that. I can even glue this down as a pocket. Um, now my thing now, my concern is I'm still got white. It's all white. It's still all white. That's not like solving the white problem. In fact, this might look better on a green page. That's going to look much better right there. All right, that's go. That's going there. Let me just just flip on over to this page, and then the white's not so bad because um, I think I'm gonna put it up there. The white's not so bad. I'm gonna ink it all. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about this, you guys? Um, I could put a little bit of decoration or something on it. Still kind of plain and I thought about putting like journaling lines or something on it but I don't want I don't want to say you have to journal here you know what I mean I want it to be open for maybe they want to put a picture on there along with their journaling or something I don't want them to feel as though they are restricted to okay here's the place where you journal if that I don't know if that makes sense to me, but uh, I think it looks really good right there. And I am going to pop something, a card or something inside there too. Let 
Maybe I'll just put a bunny picture on here. Here he's going under the fence. And I think I have a picture of him like that that I can... This one. It's a little big. Let me look in the little book. already tore that page out yeah I don't have that one but let me look in the other book um, where is it this is why you buy multiple books of the same story <laughs> there's a reason for it I probably won't need any Beatrix Potter books for a while now. There he is. And that's a, a nice colorful picture too. Although I'm going to cut all this out. I'm going to tear it. That gives a lot of writing space there. Or should I put it there? Maybe I'll put that there. And let me see. I saw some. One of these little bunnies here. Yeah. Okay. Let me just move this for a second. This gives it the page a little bit of um, color, a little bit of interest, but yet leaving it um, pretty much blank for them to do what they want on it. If I were making this, if I were making this like for myself, um, I would probably do something a little bit different with the thought in mind that I'm going to add to it. Or if I were making it for another junk journaler, I would do it with the thought in mind that they're gonna add more to it. So, I would do it a little differently somehow. But with this one, they're not gonna add, like they're not gonna go and add pictures or add lace or add anything crafty to it. So it needs to look, to me, more finished. All right, so it's going to end up looking like this. 
that's going to be a pocket. I was trying to think if I needed to put like some, I don't want to put lace on there because when you fold it down to go right on it, the lace is going to make it bumpy. I think that's it. I think that's what I'm going to, all I'm going to do. And I can add lace or something to the page. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to glue it in. I'm going to glue it in as a pocket. Right about there, I think. Hmm. I usually have a paper towel right here that I wipe. Oh, there goes everything on the floor. I wipe up this excess glue. I don't like having that showing. We don't like glue. Okay. Then, something to go in that pocket. Otherwise, I'll forget that there's a pocket there. Is it time for this guy? That's super cute. Oh my gosh, that's too cute poking out there. I think that's adorable. And There we go. How's that? I think that's cute. And then I can put some lace or something on there if I want to decorate it up. Let's see. Um, oh my goodness, you should see, you should see my desk. Uh, I, I know I keep saying that, but I, I'm like, because I can't find anything. I have to keep moving things to find something. And now I'm looking for um, these. I need to put somewhere else because they're not, I'm not going to use those. Oh, my trim that I had pulled out. I don't want green. I want the blue. Where's my blues? Oh, gosh. Do I want those? I don't know if I want those. Maybe one of these. Not that. Uh, let's see. Crack? I don't know. How would that look? That's cute. I think I have another thing of trim that I had pulled out blue darker blues i don't see them oh here they are yeah i'm not gonna i'm just gonna use the rick rack i've got it out
I have found, and I think I've said this before, that sometimes depending on the paper and depending on the trim, sometimes the this art glitter glue doesn't work well, and sometimes the Aileen's white glue doesn't work well, but this uh, tacky glue does. So to avoid the uh, trial and error process, I'm just going to use the clear tacky glue because I know it will work. I prefer the other glues. I just like the, working with them better. But um, sometimes you got to work with something you don't particularly care for because it works better. I don't know if that made any sense at all, but you know what I mean. I'm just kind of um, tapping it down so that it grips better and I am sopping up the excess glue. And then once it dries, I'll go back and trim the edges off. There, that'll that'll look cute, I think. Okay, so that's that page. Uh, how are we doing on time? Oh, we got plenty of time. Well, we have a, a few more minutes, not plenty. Um, but I still have the white page over here. What am I going to do with the white page again? I solved this problem. I I kind of like how that came out. But now I have this problem. And I'm also getting, you know, this is just the first signature. I have two more signatures that I have to decorate. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do in this whole book? I was going to put make this pocket here. I can do that right now. I think that's cute. I'm going to do that because I have it handy and I can just do it quickly. Um, two and a half inches is a good pocket size, I think. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to make it three. And I'm going to cut off just a tiny bit over here. This is what you call a quick pocket. Quick, quick, quick. I haven't done this at all in this book, but I'm going to do it on this one and use the tea dye ink only because this page has no blue or green on it. And I want to ink it a little bit to make it um, stand out from the page. It just gives it a little bit of a border around it. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Oh my goodness, that paper is so cute. Oh, let's see, what shall we talk about today? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about something that I'm going to do another video. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to do the video and then put it up before I put this one up. So I, I don't want to talk about it after it happens. 
That, that, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Um, what else can I talk about? Gotta be something else to talk about. And I don't know if I'm going to do much more on this because it's going to have something tucked in the pocket. Um, I might go back through and if I have other images I want to put on there, I will. I don't want to do too much fancy like with clustering or anything like that too much because um, I don't know. I, I think that the... Like I've said before, the person and subject matter just, they don't, doesn't call for that. I don't think. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a little bit of trim down here. No, that's, that doesn't go. You know, it would kind of go with, with the blue over here. Oh, go for it, Mary. What the heck? Just go for it. It'll just add a little bit to it without being too overpowering. Yeah, that'll be, that'll look cute. Okay, I'm doing it. And again, I'm not sure how this trim will hold on this paper. So we bring out the clear glue. And that's probably too much. Now, when you um, get together with friends to craft, if you do, do you find that you have periods of time where you're all working and nobody's talking? <laughs> do you do that? And all of a sudden, somebody will realize, oh, it's really quiet in here. <laughs> um, we tend to do that, like when we go to crops and stuff. Well, if I, not when we go and there's like, a big huge auditorium full of people but if I have like I don't know four or five people over and we're all scrapbooking and all of a sudden it gets really quiet it's like then you know everybody's working and concentrating on their work and and it's kind of funny because then all of a sudden somebody will realize it hey we must be really busy because it's really quiet in here I think that's funny Or it's kind of like you go to dinner with a group and while you're sitting there and you're waiting for your food to come and everybody's talking and, and laughing and having a good time and the food comes and everybody starts eating and all of a sudden it's quiet. <laughs> it's like, okay, we were hungry because now everybody's just eating. All right, I think that that's going to look cute there. All right, well, that still does not solve my white page and there's another white page there lots of white page because i used scrapbook paper that was not double-sided so when you're choosing your paper if you don't want to have a lot of white page to have to do something with choose carefully <laughs> choose your paper carefully but it's okay i'm i think i'm gonna just put maybe just put a border on maybe i'll ink around the edges and i'll put a border on Maybe a stamp. Should I stamp it? Be a good place for a stamp because you won't be able to see it through on the other side. I have this. That's cute. It doesn't really go with the story, but actually there's a little mouse right there. I think I'm going to do, do that. I think that'll be cute. What I need is a piece of cardboard to put under there. Now, ideally... If you're going to stamp, 
you should stamp before you sew your pages into your signature. But I don't because um, I don't, I never know where or what I want to stamp until I'm at the stage where I'm decorating the pages. And then I figure out what I want to do. So it's, I don't know. I, it's hard for me to stamp ahead of time like that. I'm digging out my ink up here. <laughs> I haven't used this stamp, I don't think. I think I got it probably at a thrift store or somewhere. I don't know how it's going to stamp. Let's try it. I always try my stamps first to see if there's a spot where I need more ink or... Oh, oh, oh my goodness, that's cute. This is called Rachel Bird and Sarah Mouse, Holly Pond Hill, Susan Wheeler, licensed by Interart Licensing, Uptown Rubber Stamps. There's no date on it, so I don't know when this is from. I don't know if she's still making those stamps, if you can still get them or what, but oh my goodness, it's a cute stamp. Very cute stamp. I hope it comes out. I should have moved it over just a little tiny bit. Ah, darn it. The bottom didn't come out. No way. There's no way I'm going to be able to get that exactly on there. No, don't even try it, Mary. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I'm doing it. Huh. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not going to try it again. <laughs> but I got it. I got that bottom on there. I can't believe I did that. This is how I clean my stamps. <laughs> I know. That's bad. Okay, and I think, I think I'm going to color it a little bit with my colored pencils again, just because, I don't know, I just think they look cute, colored a little bit, just a little, like, like this is. So let me get, grab some colored pencils. And I'll do him blue. I have another pencil sharpener. I had it taped to the top of this one. And I used it and put it somewhere and now I don't know where it is. And that's why I had it taped. So that I wouldn't lose it, but I have lost it. It's here somewhere, I'm sure. I'm not super good at coloring. Oh, no, I am. I, I like coloring. Um, I like coloring like in a coloring book. But when it comes to coloring stamps, for some reason, I can't get it to look quite the way I want it to look. I don't know why. I really don't know why. And these colored pencils are watercolor pencils. So I think I might go ahead and see if a little water will help give it a little bit more color or something. I don't know. The watercolor, when you add water to it, I think it just kind of makes it look like it's been watercolored. So I don't know if that if that will do anything or not. And I think I'm gonna add just a teensy tiny bit of 
something in it. And then let's see. Yeah, it gives it um kind of like a <clears throat> excuse me, like a finished smoother look to me. This is very uh mothering like. Oh, I like it. And we'll give her we'll give her a pink dress. She probably doesn't need a pink dress. Kind of pinky purpley. I've got this, you know why it, it didn't stamp all the way is because of this uh this in the that was in the pocket in the back. I should have thought about that and taken it out. Because I can feel it when I'm coloring too. So that's what caused that. So, little hint. If you're stamping, make sure there's nothing underneath on the opposite page. It's not like a ton of water on the brush. Which is what I want. I don't want it to get like too wet and goopy looking. And it's very light brown. Maybe this one. For her. Not too much. I don't want a lot of color on it. I just want it to be light. That's all. And she needs a little pink in her ears now. And and then just a little bit of green on here at the bottom. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I do. Now, should I put some trim on the page? I have this nice green. I really like this trim. Yep, I think so.
So I hope that you are enjoying crafting along with me. Um, I like playing like this. I like having um, somebody to talk to when I craft. And like I said, it keeps me moving because I'm not stopping to play on my phone every couple of minutes. And um, maybe it, I don't know, gives you some ideas of things to do. It's, for example, here's a blank white page. What can we do on it to make it not such a blank white page? We stamped and we colored and we're putting trim. And that's an easy, easy fix for a blank white page. So, hopefully these videos are somewhat beneficial to you in some way. If they are. You know what to do. Please give me a like. Please subscribe. And um, come back again. Because that's what keeps me going. And uh, you know what? I shouldn't say that. It, I mean, it, it's what keeps me making videos when I see that people like them. I don't, when I say it keeps me going, I don't mean that I'm, uh, I'm not getting any, I'm not monetized, so don't think that I'm doing this to, to earn money, because I'm not. <laughs> I wish I was, kind of. I, I think that that would be kind of cool to be getting, you know, a little bit of money from doing this, but, but I'm not. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. I don't have enough subscribers to be monetized. I have enough views, but I don't have enough subscribers, so um, I'm not doing it for that reason, but... It helps when, when you like and subscribe and all that stuff. It helps me to know what you like to see. And um, it encourages me. I guess that's I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It just encourages me to keep going and do some more. And who knows? Maybe someday I will get monetized. I don't know. I need a thousand subscribers. And that, at this point, I, I, I'm halfway there. But that's not my goal. My goal is just, I'm just playing. I hope that looks okay on this side. Can you see on this side? It's hard to tell because I don't have the trims trimmed yet. Kind of blends in a little bit on this side, but that's, that's okay, right? I think it looks all right. And then when you turn the page, you can really see the trim. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I kind of like how this stamp came out. I'm a little bit happy with that. So, what did we end up doing today? Let's see. These were the other day. This was the other day. I think I finished this on camera. I'm pretty sure I did. This I started the other day and finished today. So, we have the, uh -oh, the card here. That's perfect to put a picture on, you know, and you can journal on the back. I think that's, that fits in there just, just right. And then over here, we have the tuck spot with more journaling space. Lots and lots of journaling space and places for pictures. And then over here, this is pretty, I think. I like it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. And then we made this fold down envelope, which I think came out pretty cute too. I like it. And it's got these little things in the pocket. You know what these are from? This is from a baby shower that I threw for my daughter-in-law. Um, I had these little things. There's this one. Oh, there were a couple of them. I only have a few left. There's this little bib. And this little... Uh, oh, i got to take that off of there. This little... What do you call these? I don't know. Sleepers? And I think there was something else, but I can't remember what. Maybe a little pink dress. I'm not sure. And I had people write messages on them. And I pinned them up on a little line. And then afterwards, I made her a scrapbook of the shower, and I put all the messages that people wrote 
with a picture of them and their gift in the scrapbook. It was really cute. So I had these left over. And so I thought, well, this is a perfect place to put them in a little baby journal. Okay, so that is what we did today. I got a little bit done in an hour. Um, I'm happy with what I've done. And I'm going to continue probably, maybe not off camera for a little bit. Um, but I'll probably do another craft along still with this book at some point. Just because um, there's a lot for me to do in here. I have a lot of pages I have to do something with. Um, so yeah, we'll see you again and thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. -bye.